Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom, and today I'm taking a look at the Poughkeepsie Galleria Mall in Poughkeepsie, New York. And as always, I'm asking the question, is it a dead mall? I visited this mall the same day I visited the Hudson Valley Mall, the Newburgh Mall, and Center City Mall. So in comparison to those malls, it seems to be doing relatively well, at least on the surface. However, from what I've read online, this mall is definitely struggling. Sales are down due to more and more people shopping on the internet, like at most other malls. Two of the anchors are vacant, and the value of the mall has fallen from about $237 million as of 1998 to only about $68 million as of March of 2023. This mall opened in 1987, and the original anchor stores were G. Fox, Jordan Marsh, Leechmere, Filene's, and J.C. Penney. And then Sears and Montgomery Ward were added not too long after that. Out of all of those anchor stores, none of them exist today. So now let's take a look around. And in case anybody was wondering, this was filmed on a Tuesday at about 3.30 in the afternoon. And as you can see, this mall looks pretty much like a whole bunch of other malls I've been to. It's got that white or beige aesthetic. And even the ceilings look very similar to some other malls. I can't remember exactly which malls they look like, but um, yeah, I mean, if you were to tell me I was at some other mall in some other state, I would probably believe you because these malls tend to be almost indistinguishable from each other unless you're really familiar with them. Coming up ahead is the old Sears. The Sears closed in 2020 and before that that was the location of Jordan Marsh, one of the original anchor stores. I wasn't able to find an exact date online as to when the Sears opened but from what I can tell it would have been sometime in the early 90s. And as you can see, this Sears was using the logo that was around from about 2004 to 2010. And for some reason, they never updated it to the, uh, the newer logo that came out in 2010. Which, I'm kind of glad they didn't because that new logo is just horrible. Let's take a quick look inside. And it's looking pretty good. It's only been closed for three years, so, you know, I wouldn't expect too much decay. Uh, and luckily, they don't have it boarded up or have curtains up like they do at most other malls. So you can actually see inside and see what's going on. Who knows, maybe someday they'll turn this into a Spirit Halloween and I'll be able to get inside and take a closer look. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, <coughs> subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. Thanks. Looks like somebody needs to change this light bulb. I like this stairway they have here in the center. I don't think I've seen one quite like that at any other malls I've been to so far. Straight ahead, this used to be JCPenney. 
JCPenney was one of the original anchors, and it finally closed in 2020, not too long after Sears did. Here's a photo of what this entrance looked like sometime before 2020. And if you look really closely, you can still kind of see where it used to say JCPenney up there. And there also used to be a water fountain here in front of this JCPenney. Here's a picture of what the fountain used to look like. This photo, though, I think was probably taken right around the time they were dismantling it, I think. I wasn't able to find any pictures of it with water in it. If you've ever been to this mall before, tell me what you think about it in the comments. What do you think about the number of shoppers that were at the mall the day I filmed? And would you consider this a dead mall, a dying mall, or that it's doing just fine? After just visiting malls like the Newburgh Mall and especially the Hudson Valley Mall, there's no way I could call this a dead mall, but I do see signs that it's probably a dying mall. And it's probably not doing as well as it may look on the surface but that's just totally my opinion. At the end of this hallway here is where Montgomery Ward used to be. And here's a picture of what it used to look like. So based on this picture, I think the entrance to Montgomery Ward was pretty much where this pillar on the left here is and where the movie theater on the right starts. And also you see that beam going straight across there. I would guess that this, this was probably the entrance right here. We we're probably in where Montgomery Ward used to be. And it would have gone back quite a ways and also over to the left quite a ways, I believe. Um, I wasn't able to find too many photos of it, so if anybody knows for sure, let me know in the comments. And I'm also not really sure when this Regal Movie Theater moved in or when the RPM Raceway moved in, but I would assume that's fairly recent. I've been seeing a lot of these uh, indoor racetracks or go-kart tracks at a lot of malls recently. We've actually got one that just moved in not too far from where I live, and I was considering going there and filming, you know, as I went around the track. But they're crazy expensive. It's like 30 bucks just to go around the track once. So I don't know if it's worth that, honestly. If anybody really wants to see me go around a racetrack like that, uh, let me know. One thing this mall does have a lot of is arcades. There were at least three or four separate arcades in this mall, and they were fairly decent, so that's kind of nice to see. There's a lot of malls out there that don't have any arcades at all, or they just have one tiny one with, you know, just a handful of games. Figured I'd take a quick look inside the movie theater here. I usually don't go in theaters too often just because they are especially against filming. So as you can imagine, you know, they don't want you bootlegging anything. So kind of have to get in and out of these theaters fairly quickly before anybody asks me what I'm doing with a video camera in a uh, movie theater. And there's more arcade machines. So they're pretty much everywhere. Even though you almost never see anybody uh, actually playing the games.
Here's a photo of what this part of the mall looked like sometime between 1989 and 1995. And you can see at that time it was Steinbox. Originally, this was the location of the first Filings. The first Filings was here from 87 to 89, and then they left the mall until I believe 1993 when they came back into a different location. The Steinbox closed in 1995, and Dix and DSW moved into that space. Dixon DSW moved out around 2003-2004 when they moved to their new location over where the Montgomery Wards was. And then this Target opened in 2004. Now let's head on up to the second floor. This is where Leechmere used to be. Here's a photo of what the entrance used to look like. So I believe the entrance was right here as we're walking past this pillar. And today they've got the Best Buy at the end of the hall, the Old Navy on the left, and the H&M on the right. On the left here is a restaurant I've never heard of before. This is the Pancake Factory, which sounds suspiciously like the Cheesecake Factory. And it actually looks a lot like the Cheesecake Factory, too. I checked online, though. They do not seem to be owned by the same company, so I'm kind of wondering how they got away with calling themselves something so similar to the Cheesecake Factory.
is the food court, and it seems to be doing pretty well. There's a lot of people here, especially for this being 3.30 on a Tuesday. So that's usually an off hour, I would think, for food, you know, in between lunch and dinner. So, yeah, if it's doing this well at 3.30, you know, I imagine around noontime or 5 or 6, it's got to be doing really well. And then straight ahead where Dix is today, this was the upper level of Montgomery Ward. Here's a picture of the upper level of the old Montgomery Ward, and you can see to the right of it, it says Time Out, which I believe is where the uh, WOW Arcade is today. Here's the WOW Family Entertainment Center I was talking about. And if you've watched enough of my videos, you know these are in pretty much every other mall. Um, if a mall has an arcade in it, Odds are it's going to be a WOW Family Entertainment Center, and they're okay. Um, they're not my favorite because they don't have a lot of classic arcade machines. They usually have one classic arcade, and then the rest are either these like claw machine type things, um, coin pushers, and they'll have a lot of these, uh, these big stand-up machines here. So overall, you know, it's not bad. I didn't play any games today, but... Um, a lot of times when I come to the mall, I will play a few of these. And if you want to see more videos of me at arcades, filming the games, uh, let me know. I really would like to do more videos of arcades, but I just don't know if anybody's going to watch the videos. That's the problem. Here's their one classic arcade machine. This is the Namco Classic 81. It's got Miss Pac-Man and Galaga. And this is the one I see in most of the WoW Entertainment Centers. They seem to have those in pretty much every arcade. And it's kind of a classic machine. I think it's actually from the late 90s, so it's not an 80s or early 90s machine, but it's close enough, I guess. Whenever I'm at a mall that has an elevator, I do try to take it if at all possible or you know, if I remember to do it. So I decided to just ride this one down and back up again. I'm not a fan of these white lines though painted on the window, which is blocking my view. So I don't know why they would do that. I think they need to grease this elevator because it's making some really weird noises. Just imagine hearing that at night in the mall with nobody else around.
Here's the upper level of the old J.C. Penney. And too bad, but all the windows are blacked out here, so you can't see inside like you can at the Sears. Where that garden area is now, I believe that's where the fountain used to be. And here's another arcade, and this one I had to go in. This one's really nice. This is way better than that uh, WOW Entertainment Center. Here's the upper level of the old Sears, and this one's cool because it's got these old neon signs. It's got that one that says Sears Brand Central, and then America's Home Appliance Store. wonder what they're going to do with those old neon signs. I'm sure somebody out there would love to have one of those, other than me. And here's a picture of what that used to look like with all the neon lit up. On the left here is one of the rare Hollisters that is still a Hollister. You see this uh, facade at a lot of other malls, and they're usually no longer Hollisters. I've seen a couple that are restaurants and you know other various types of stores other than Hollisters.
And then at the end of the hall where we have the Macy's today, that's where G. Fox was originally. That was one of the original anchor stores. And then it became Filene's in 1993. So that was the second Filene's location. And then it became Macy's in 2006. Here's what it looked like when it was G Fox. And here's what it looked like when it was Filene's. Also, if you've never been to 110 Grill, I definitely recommend going there. That's probably one of the best restaurants I've been to in a very long time. So that's the inside of the mall, but don't go anywhere yet because as always I'm going to do a drive around the mall and we can see what it looks like from the outside. Here's the Macy's, and here's what it looked like when it was Filene's. And here's what it looked like when it was G Fox. And of course the Sears. Now this Sears looks very dated to me. It looks like they probably didn't update that exterior since probably sometime in the 90s at the latest. That smoke glass canopy looks very old fashioned to me. Maybe even from the 70s possibly.
and here's where the DSW and Dix are today and this again was originally the uh, Montgomery Ward building. And here's what this area used to look like sometime back in probably the late 80s, early 90s, based on the cars. Here's the Target, which like I said earlier was built around 2003 and opened in 2004. And then before that, this is approximately where the uh, Steinbox and Lechmere used to be. Here's the old J.C. Penney building. And there you have it. That's the Poughkeepsie Galleria Mall in Poughkeepsie, New York. I think I would classify this as a dying mall. That's my final judgment. So it's dying. It's not dead. And uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more mall videos coming up, as well as store walkthroughs, and of course flea markets. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.